Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona. And every Tuesday I have either, a, I go live on this page or find a video for you or present a video and um, show you what I've been working on and what's on my craft table. Um, about a month ago, I was lucky enough to celebrate another birthday. And as paper crafters, we're also blessed to receive handmade greeting cards from those other paper crafters in our life. So I'm going to show you a stack of the cards that I received. Um, and then I am going to recreate one of the cards I got and show you how easy it is to make a bunch of them with um, Stampin' Up! products. Um, most of the cards use Stampin' Up! products. Some are retired, um, but they're all very beautiful. So why don't you hang tight and I will switch my camera down and I will show you the cards and make something quick for you today. Thanks so much for popping in. I appreciate you. Um, you can find me online at kimplayswithpaper.com. I also have a YouTube um, page, Pinterest page. So follow me. I would just absolutely love that. Oh, all right. I didn't, um, we're still looking at the ceiling. Here we go. All righty. Um, let's start here. This card came from, um, Ginger and this uses the Paradise Palms bundle that's available in Stampin' Up's January through June mini catalog. And it also uses that awesome, beautiful rainbow glimmer paper that's available in Stampin' Up's um, annual catalog. That's that, so pretty. I'm absolutely needing to case this one. All right, the next card is from Angela Schmidt. Um, she's using the artistic dies and the flowing flowers stamp set. Um, along with the happy and heartfelt uh, greeting. Such a pretty, such a pretty stamp set. Um, and I just love the colors that she used for that birthday card. Little piece of the glimmer from last year's celebration. I may be wrong on that sentiment. I'll have to check. If you need to know, just give me a holler. If you have any questions on any of these cards, um, please be sure to leave me a comment or contact me. All righty. Um, Karen sent me this birthday card using the Friendly Hello um, Designer Series paper. You can earn that paper free through February 28th of 2022 with a $50 um, no, that's a hundred dollar order. Um, and you also get a stamp set with that. She used the sentiment from the peaceful moments, um, stamp set there and some of that black, um, glittery ribbon. Love that stuff. All right. The next card is from Gina and uh, one of my favorite colors is purple and she used the cactus cuties stamp set and some of that, um, glimmer paper as well and I just the glimmer paper is also on um, the little blooms for the cactus the cactus cutie stamp set is available in the January through June um, mini catalog the paper in the background is the simply marvelous now you can earn this free also through February 28th of 2022 with a, a $50 order before tax and shipping lots of fun colors of, of designer series paper in that six by six package. All right, this next card comes from Kelly and she used the Expressions in Ink um, designer series paper from the Stampin' Up's annual catalog. Some little uh, rectangle dies and um, the artistically inked stamp set. Beautiful. All right. And Monica, um, this is also from the Friendly Hello. It's a combination stamp set and designer series paper. You can earn that free with the $100 purchase. But here's a fun um, birthday card that she created by 
and fussy cutting out the flowers little strips does um there's a embossing folder behind that and some wink of stella on those flowers love 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 that all right the next card comes from kathy and she uses the boho indigo uh, product medley that was in last year's annual catalog it was one of my favorites my favorite colors are blue and purple so she added that in that beautiful card with lots of the little the details in the designer series paper and the stamps all right the next card comes from brenda and she's using the flowing flowers stamp set that's um available in the january through june 20 22 mini catalog look at the embossing with that sentiment the white heat embossing and that sentiment comes from the sweet ice cream stamp set and she used also these little um, brushed brass butterflies super cute the next card comes from sue um, granny apple green gorgeous grape all those fun bright colors I'm um, using the layering circles dies as well as the sentiment from the art gallery art gallery stamp set and some fun jewels to accent that as well all right from Lisa we have a birthday card again of course we're showing my birthday cards for my birthday in late January so happy to have I celebrated another one even though I'm getting getting close to close to 60 um, and the sentiment comes from the sweet ice cream stamp set and that stamp set is in the annual catalog and I I, I use this it, this is kind of my go-to as well because it's nice and big and I like the big um, sentiments all right this next birthday card comes from Colleen um, she's using the rainbow of happiness uh, you can she did some a spun fun sponging technique on those clouds and uses that sunshine and rainbows designer series paper that's another paper you can earn free during celebration so thanks for that isn't it just fun to get um handmade cards in the mail well, any card anything that's that's um not junk mail so this card comes from sharon um and she's using the floral gallery dies and the hand penned designer series paper um, along with this um, flirty flamingo um, and gold ribbon so very pretty uh, so very pretty card painted texture um, 3d embossing folder there and some gems so thanks Sharon for that Alrighty, the next card comes from, this is from Ruth, and she uses the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, and that was a really um, beautiful, popular paper um, from last year's Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, along with some coordinating flirty flamingo ribbon. Um, it's your day, Stitch So Sweetly Dies. Pretty card there. Now this card came from um, Janet, and Janet um, found this really um, old Stampin' Up! stamp set and made me this really fun card. I can't, um, she even told me the name of it, but um, let me show you the inside. So it just pops out like that. And um, she said she tried to use all the sentiments that she could. I think it's like might be a step card or something. But she said she tried to use all the stamps in the, and this would be perfect. So it had Stampaholic, I Love Stamps, <laughs> Will Work for Stamps, Born to Stamp, I'd Rather Be Stamping, <sighs> If It Doesn't Move, Stamp It, Home is where the stamps are. She who dies with the most stamps wins. Um, and then this, it started out with just one stamp, which led to two, then three. Now I'm a stampaholic and don't want to recover. 
and don't want recovery. So that's a really fun card, and I wish I would have had access to that stamp set because it's super cute. It just kind of has all the sentiments that us stampers can identify with. So that was a really fun birthday card. And I, I think I included them all. My apologies if you sent one and I didn't include it. Um, I had them all up on my mantle and um, enjoying them. So the card that I, I mean, I could, I could case any of the cards. Case means copy and share everything. It's a common um, crafting practice, common Stampin' Up! practice. I could have cased any of those cards, but the one I chose was um, this one from Kelly because I specifically wanted to showcase some designer series paper. Um, the, there are just a, about a week left of Stampin' Up! celebration sale, and one of my favorite papers in that is the Sunshine and Rainbows 6x6 designer series paper, and you can earn this free with a $50 order before tax and shipping and so i'm just going to show you the pieces of it um lots of bright colors misty moonlight mango melody pool party magenta madness um so that's one side lots of sunny cheery sentiments um the rainbow is granny apple green crushed curry um i'll show you the pieces and then um I'm a really clean and simple stamper. I need to make a lot of cards in a short period of time. So um, the design, I thought that design lends itself really well to, first of all, using designer series paper and feet and showcasing it. So I'm just showing all the different, um, and you can still get this through February 28th of 2022. Just place an online order. Um, and if you shop with me, I would just absolutely love that. Um, contact me if you have any questions about this or anything else. Um, so just lots of lots of really fun, um, cheery designs. You get 48 sheets in this package of designer series paper for each of those designs. So lots and lots of choices. Um, when you're creating and I have used this paper quite a bit in my crafting during the last few months um, so I've actually made three cards with it um, so this is the first one with the birthday card and the sentiment comes from the special moment stamp set and that stamp set can be earned free you just love the word free but um, I love celebration and that's why I keep mentioning it I don't want anybody to miss out on the specials and the free. Um, I think this stamp set is one to have in your collection. Um, happy birthday. I think you're wonderful. Big congratulations. Thanks. Good luck. It just covers everything that you would, um, that you would need. Um, so that's the one birthday card. You can see the little pieces of the designer series paper that I cut out with one of the stitched rectangles. But if you don't have the stitched rectangles, or you don't have a die cut machine, you can cut those little squares out easily enough and layer them on some cardstock. Here's another bright and cheery birthday card. Um, it, I guess it uses the same little dots, but you can see how it changes when you put it with the other papers. Now this paper is so saffron, a pool party, um, misty moonlight, misty moonlight. And this is magenta madness and granny apple green. And just even the different ribbons you can use with that too. And so this is the card that I chose to make today. Um, I'm going to change the sentiment up to um, a birthday because I need a lot of birthday cards. So I will give you the dimensions of everything and make one while we're here today with the birthday cards. Um, these will all be posted on my blog later. Um, so I do have three little pieces cut from the designer series paper. So from that six by six sheet, you can get several cards. Um, like I said, again, if you cannot, you don't have the dies, um, they measure about one and a quarter by one and three quarters. So you could just cut those with your trimmer. This layering piece measures four by two. Um, that layer is five and a quarter by four. 
This is for the inside at five and a quarter by four. Um, I've already stamped one of these, but um, I will stamp another one. It's pool party, and that one measures about three and one eighth by three quarters. Um, I've got a couple set aside. And then, of course, this is our card base, Magenta Madness, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one quarter. So most of this actually is just um, is assembly. Um, and then, oh, and I do have some of that pool party ribbon. And I know I grabbed more than I need, but um, I have about 18 inches here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my designer series paper piece. And all these papers come from that one package of um, Sunshine and Rainbow's designer series paper. Um, so let's see. Actually, I want to get this piece out and put my little, my little pieces. I'm going to start kind of in the middle. Get them all where I think they look good. And I'm not... Um, I would love for them to be equally spaced apart, but sometimes I know I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. So I just give myself a little bit of grace and say, it's close. It's good enough. Um, no one's, the recipient's just going to love getting a card. They don't really care um, if everything's straight. So I'm just, I'm going to put the middle one down first. That works for me. You may have another procedure that you like to follow. But I've got it all laid out, and I'm going to set it there. And then for me, it just makes it easier getting those other pieces on there in some some fashion. And I'm using Stampin' Up's Stampin' Seal Plus for that. But you can use any adhesive of your choice that works for you. So I'm just layering that on there. I just love this um, bright and cheery... Um, design lends itself to um, cards for everyone. Who wouldn't want to receive a bright and cheery card in our world today? And then I'm going to put some stamp and seal. Oops, see, you can already get the ribbon on there. Um, on the, the four by two inch piece of Magenta Madness. And oops, and it's gonna, it's gonna, sometimes that does that. Sometimes this, it's so strong that it just pulls the paper. So um, I'll go right back to my glue dots and try to work with those to get the rest of that on there. I must be pressing too hard. I think that's my problem. All right. Um, and I think um, right about there looks really good. Um, now I'm going to add my ribbon, and sometimes I do a fake bow, sometimes I did a real bow, but this one I did a real, real bow. So I tuck it behind the paper, and um, this kind of, I don't tape it down because then I can move the bow anywhere I want, and it might take me a couple of tries to tie this ribbon, but um, I just kind of pull a little tight, trying not to rip the paper. That has happened, but um, this ribbon is so easy to work with that um, nice and soft and pretty, and I love the shimmer. And then you can just fuss with the little bows and make them as um, big or as long as you want. I have, um, I'm just gonna trim those little pieces off, the little tails off, and then I'm ready. I think I will go ahead and put that on my base. Bring my stamp and seal plus back. See if I can get it going. Um, not pressed so hard, Kim. All right, let me get that on all the edges. And I know I probably use too much adhesive, but I really do like my cards to stick together when they get into the mail. That just goes on the front there. That piece was five and a quarter by four. Um, let me see, I'm going to, I didn't have a stamp handy today for the inside of the greeting card, so I'll just write a lot. Um, put some glue dots on the back of that white, basic white that measures five and a quarter by four. And, um, 
that right in here. So the, the thing that I have left to do is my sentiment. Uh, I mean, that's pool party. And I have my happy birthday from the special moments. And I am going to stamp that with magenta madness. And I'm going to do the stamping toward the left so I can do a quick little punch on that right hand side and I always like to practice just a little bit oftentimes my practice goes way better than um, my final stamping but that's just how it goes um, so I'm just gonna press down here evenly and firmly I love these photopolymer stamps because I can see exactly where I'm stamping there we go close that up so I don't get ink everywhere and um, this is one of the tags, pick a punch. You can see in the back. So I'm the the um it fits pieces one half inch, one half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch. And mine is a three quarter. And the guides, if you cut it just so, the guides go right in there. And then you can look on the back, you can see that little piece if you have it in correctly and it's going to punch like you want it to so that will do that nice little um cut out sometime before the punch I used to do it by hand and I've failed miserably at it so I really appreciate having a punch that will do that for me and it, it the the great thing is is that I can do three different sizes and um a couple of different designs and this is available in Stampin Up's annual catalog so I'm just gonna finish the card up by placing um, that sentiment on the front of the card now you can um, you can embellish this card with any kind of jewels or pearls um, but if I'm gonna mail this I think it's just great like that um, it's if I have limited supplies, it's really um, good to go. So these are the others I created all with that um, package of designer series paper. And I still have a ton of paper left. So um, there you are. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I'm my blog is kimplayswithpaper.com. I, like I mentioned earlier, I do have um, a YouTube channel and a Pinterest board, and I would love it if you would follow me. And I am here uh, on Facebook every Tuesday. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. Um, love the loves, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.